take all the pictures you like. And whenever your tour is over, you're welcome to walk back through and take more pictures and stay as long as you like. Mm -hmm. This is our beadwork section. And this lady's working with a stainless steel needle, flax thread, and glass beads. And with these materials, she can do two different types of beadwork. And what you see on the bench here is the scroll work. This was used to decorate the clothing. And what she's doing here is the solid work. This was used to make belts, headbands, and necklaces. She'll pick up one bead at a time and sew it onto the next bead. This allows her thread to pass through each bead twice. So if that thread were to break, it'd be a clean break and no beads would be lost. Once the beaded part of a belt is finished, she'll sew on two straps of buckskin. These will serve as ties. And before we had these materials, we used the gray Indian cornmeal and the small seashells that were traded to us by the coastal tribe, and the teeth, bones, and claws of wild animals. And our needle was carved out of the bones with a straight part of the deer's leg. Now the thread came from the dried inner fibers of the Indian hemp plant. Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. Our next stop will be down here at the pod.